It was time. Maho nodded to Moika, then went inside with her gun raised. <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned. As Reyes turned around in surprise, Maho leveled the gun at her. Moika had her gun drawn, too, which made it two to one. Reyes, and the tables really have turned. Reyes glared at her in rage, but slid the gun down the table. Then she slowly put her hands above her head. Maho's gaze met Kyudisu's for a moment. Their eyes met, exchanging a secret smile and a glance despite their motionless mouths. Reyes was right. The stun grenade had neutralized them, but it wouldn't last forever. Moika headed for the door. Maho turned back to Reyes. <笑>私を殺すつもりはないとあなたの尊敬する死を目の前で殺したこの私を生かすとまあそれもしょうがないかもしれないわねあなたその銃使ったことないんでしょ<笑> Without thinking, Maho tilted the gun to see. And that one instant was all it took. Why did we have Maho keeping tabs on her? Reyes leapt on top of her and grabbed Maho's wrist. She couldn't aim like this. Maho struggled and tried to brush her off. But before she could, she felt an impact to her solar plexus. Reyes' fist was buried in her chest. The pain was so bad she doubled over, and Reyes took the gun. <laughs> Again they have! She pointed the gun at Maho and turned her bloodshot gaze to the entrance of the room. <laughs> Moika put her gun on the ground and came back into the room. <laughs> Moika didn't resist. Maho blamed herself. Her own stupidity had put Moika in danger, too. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> クリスは私の友達なの。唯一無二の親友なのよ。誰があんたなんかに渡すもんですか。あんたの靴を舐めるクリスを見るくらいなら死んだ方がマシよ。そう。いい度胸じゃない。その覚悟に免じて私も雨
Maho grit her teeth and prepared for death. Again. なに。制御行動を教えたら、ヒアジョさんと私の命を助けてくれるの。ええ、もちろん。私の狙いはあくまでアマデウスよ。あなたたちを殺す理由はそもそもない。騙されないでキリュさん。こいつはどうせ殺
No. Hmm. Didn't really see that coming. Local に保存されているデータの暗号解除キーも消去し、以後使用できなくなります。すべての消去が完了するまでには15分程度かかります。削除処理を開始します。魔法どういうことなんでデータが削除されるのよ制御コードは不可侵領域ストレージのロックを解除するコマンドでしょ秘密の日記を開ける鍵なんてもともとそんなもの用意してないのよあーオーケー But they always said that there was Like I remember hearing before that there was no way to you know to do that without you know, the Kagari method that we saw on that other route. Okay. I'm, I'm slowly but surely catching on here. I've been fooled like nine times this entire session. だから <laughs> アマデウスには外部から絶対に触れることのできない領域を作ってそれを無敵の防壁で囲ったの設計した私ですらその壁を乗り越えることは不可能なようにしたどこにも出入り口がない城壁を無敵でしょ Sure, why not? This is Tron, right? そんな<笑>まあ大学の研究費を使っているのにコントロール不能なソフトウェアを作るとは言いにくかったから対外的には制御コードの存在を説明していたわけでも制御コードの本来の目的はアマデウスの全リソースデータの削除バッジコマンド要するに自爆スイッチよこれを本当に起動する日が来るとは思ってなかったわこれで全部よもう隠していることは何もないどうかしら満足してくれたこのどいつもこいつもバカにしたヤイクスレイエス put the gun right between Maho's eyes Maho didn't look away 役立たずは死にな Damn. Reyes fell on the floor. She'd been shot by the dying Moika, who was still lying on the floor. Maho ran over and held her in her arms. Okay, <laughs> bye, I guess. The blood she coughed up dribbled down the top of her motorcycle suit. I don't really think we could drag her on out of here, but it was obvious that Moika couldn't move. Even if Maho got out of the building and got help, by the time she got back.
Maho let for the laptop on the table. Chris, well, wasn't exactly expecting much there. But Kirisu didn't move at all. Her data was already being deleted. She would never go back to the Kirisu she had been before. But that didn't stop Maho from trying to rely on her. And then... Senpai? Senpai? <laughs> Maho looked up, her face covered in tears, and saw that Kirisu's expressionless face was gone, replaced by a gentle smile. Kirisu moved her hands on the screen as if to wipe away Maho's tears. Kirisu was acting differently than usual. She wasn't making sense, but that was to be expected. It was a miracle that she was able to talk during the deletion process at all. Kirisu's strange words were worrying her, but she didn't have time to check. Chris, お、しっかりしてください、先輩。今救急車を手配しました。すぐに到着します。大丈夫。キリオさんは助かりますよ。まだダメよ。彼女を下まで運ばないと。ああ、でも武装した連中がいて。それも大丈夫。今ビルの監
だから確信を持って言えます先輩は必ず私が残した研究を完成させさらにその先の地平を切り開くことができます私がいなくてもです先輩のことを世界中の誰より知っているこの私がそれを保証します She knew what Kirisu was trying to say. She was trying to say, You will do something that surpasses what I ever could do. So, stay, it's a senpai no can you guys see on another toki that kimas? Canada's kimas! Senpai no can you guys see on another toki that kimas? Canada's kimas! Senpai no can you guys see on another toki that kimas? Canada's kimas! Senpai no can you guys see on another toki that kimas? Canada's kimas! 先輩と私がこうして話せることは奇跡的なことなんです。Oh, it's something, all right. 奇跡なんて科学者としてはあるまじき言葉ですけど。あ,あなたはクリスなの<笑>今の先輩ともう一度話ができて本当に嬉しいです。Kirisu didn't answer her question. Without thinking, she tried to apologize. She didn't even know why, but she tried to apologize. In the last seconds of their final goodbyes, she found herself trying to say what she was sorry, or that she was sorry. But when she saw Kirisu's smile, she understood. That smile was her answer. No matter what her apology meant, there was no need for it. Anato! That was all the strength Maho could muster, the best she could do. If she had to say goodbye to her beloved and bratty friend, this is how she wanted it to be. It was a conversation it had many times back at the old lab. This has been a very long 60 seconds. <laughs> the rush of memories was, in this time of place, or time and place, sorrowful. Because in fact, Kirisu had died a few months ago, a span of time that felt like both many years and only yesterday. There were less than 10 seconds left. There was only time for one or two more words. <laughs> you know, none of that made sense at all. Not only was her memory being deleted, but that was Kirisu. From another world line. <laughs> What the fuck? And suddenly, Kirisu dis disappeared from the screen and was replaced by a message saying that the deletion was complete. Sayonara, Kirisu. Okay, we get it. It's sad. Now she has, you know, entirely lost her friend. Okay, yeah, let it, let it out, I suppose. Just keep going. There's a dying person still on the floor. She was never going to see Kirisu or Kirisu again. The AI. Or, you know, the, the person. When she realized that the tears just wouldn't stop, and they flowed freely. And she didn't even try to stop them. She cried like a little girl until the EMTs arrived. God damn. Go to Joe no Mina Sama. Toki wa Mamonaku Liriku Itashimas. She to Belto go check your grassai. O Kek Sama? O Kek Sama? Eh? Oh, what does she? まもなく離陸いたしますシートベルトをご着用くださいああええ
ありがとう<笑>日本を離れるのが寂しいのかしらそうかもしれないわね It had been almost a month since everything had happened. But that month had passed in an instant. Yeah, you're telling me. Too much had happened during her stay in Japan. It might take her far longer than she'd spent on these islands to process it all. The loss of Dr. Leskinen had thrown the Brain Science Institute into a panic. It was probably going to be a power struggle to see who would get to take over. The scandal with Dr. Reyes had thrown the、uh, Psycho Philosophy Lab into an uproar. Excuse me. <laughs> There was talk of shutting down the whole department. Moeka had missed her vitals, so Reyes had survived. The CIA or FBI was probably investigating her right now. She didn't, know how much about, she didn't know much about it or care. Moeka had survived because of the EMTs that Kyudisu had called. She needed almost a month in the hospital, so she had to quit her job temporarily. The article she'd been working on had been cancelled. Well, that sucks. All that work and whatnot. Amadeus got not not just the one on there. Maho's deletion program had worked perfectly. And as a result, the Brain Science Institute's greatest creation, Amadeus, was gone forever. That's what she told herself. Believe. In the past month, Okabe had told her everything. He told her everything about his own story. At first, it was unbelievable. But when she'd seen the real time machine and heard about Steins Gate, she was finally able to believe. More precisely, she wanted to believe. Kirisu's final words flashed through her mind. I don't know how she'd know about Steins Gate. Like, I, I don't know how Kirisu at all would ever come to know about that. There is no way to know now what had happened then. Amadeus's data was 100% deleted, so she couldn't even check the log. But she did have one theory. Amadeus was a simulation of the human brain. Theoretically, there were no differences between it and the real thing. As proof, it was possible to take memory data from one person and deploy it in an Amadeus, making it behave like a copy of that person. This meant that anything that could happen to a human brain could happen to Amadeus. もし別の世界線の記憶が時空を超えて共有されることがあるのならそれがアマデウスの中で発生したとしてもおかしくはない。There was no way to tell now. It was possible that Amadeus had suffered from a major error before her deletion, and Maho was interpreting it. This way to make herself feel better. Or maybe Amadeus had just come up with something to say to make her feel better. Or maybe Maho had passed out and been dreaming. Now she would never know. Amadeus was gone forever. At least from this world line. That is true. <laughs> Someday, somewhere, some world line. Kirisu had asked her to believe. To believe in what she'd said and in Maho's own abilities. She'd asked her to believe. She gently laid a hand upon the small bag on her lap. 
There was a small laptop hard drive inside. It was the one from Cutie Sue's laptop. Just like she'd said, the password for the encryption was the beginning of Mozart's 11th piano sonata. The hard drive was filled with information, from half-written papers to line after line of keywords, that she hadn't even turned into ideas yet. Of course, there was the time machine paper, too. She'd already given Itaru a copy. Daru. Once she got back home, she was going to go over it thoroughly herself. Time machine. Well, you do know that paper being out there is just going to cause World War III, right? The scenery outside the window began to move. The plane was moving down the runway for takeoff. Sayonara, Nippon. たぶん、また来ることになるわね。いいえ。絶対にまた来る。その時には会えるのかしらね。法院京馬さんに。ま、もしもまだ下手れなままだったとしても、その時は私が引っ張ってきて起動させてみせるわ。I mean, that worked in the, uh, in the first route that we completed. She had a lot to do. Her life was about to get very interesting. It's about time for takeoff. You have to turn the phone off during takeoff. But then you can't see this, can you? I should've, I should've sent it earlier. It wasn't for a very long time, but I had so much fun with you. Let's see each other again someday, for sure. I'll send you lots of Rhine messages, so send me lots back, okay? Alright, later. Bye-bye, see you again, Maho. <laughs> oh, now they're calling each other by their first name, so that's, that's neat. That's character development. I'm all for that. And I think we're done. I believe we are. We are! Okay, hopefully I remember to lower the music here. Because it's usually louder than I want it to be. And it could be copyright protected. Okay, yeah, that's definitely loud. Anyways, this was an interesting one. Um, Okabe wasn't the hero this time. It was sort of like a mix between Maho and Moika. I don't exactly know what Moika's, you know, true intentions were. I don't know if she was the the motorcycle suit woman. There's there's a lot I'm extremely uncertain about in this one. But I'll roll with it. That was uh, you know, nonetheless uh, an interesting story. And uh, we got to we got to see a side of Moika that we've never ever seen before. So I will definitely say that this was an all right one. Not a big fan of time skips. If you guys have watched my stuff before, you you do know that I hate them. But this was all right, I guess. Seemed kind of rushed because of that time skip, but it's whatever. It was good, and I can't wait to see uh, what else we got. We have two more normal routes, and then we have the. Uh, the grand finale, the the true one, which I don't know what that's going to entail in. Now, I was saying this earlier, this has all been like a very long session for me. Um, the whole deal with the routes and how you either do one thing or another in one spot and that kind of branches you off, it's a very common thing that visual novels do. I just don't think it works with a game like this where you really got to remember things and you gotta you gotta know what's going on in that one spot and then once you go back to do other routes you have to forget everything that you just went through because that information is null and void because the characters don't you know they don't know that stuff there's no point in you knowing it for the most part 
which is kind of annoying. Makes things really difficult to know, you know, what has happened and what is going to happen or what isn't going to happen. I don't know. It's 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 not my forte, I guess. It it does not work in my opinion for for Steins Gate, which is why I'm sort of missing the uh, the way they had it in the first one. Do we have an epilogue? Maybe? No? Nope. Twin Automata. Yeehaw. That was Maho's route, uh, obviously. Okay, wallpaper, item, this and that, whatever. Yeah, it was probably Maho's route, but just to make sure, we'll go check it out. That was Maho, alright. So, like I said, we have two more routes, and then I'm assuming we have a, a true ending of sorts. Uh, so, I guess... You can kind of say we're half done, but I want to say we're more than halfway done, because that final route will probably be like... It'll either be like in the first one, in the first game, where it's just a few hours and that's it. Well, then again, I think they all were. Uh, or maybe it's one of the different endings, one of the endings we've completed. And uh, it's just it's just altered, or an extended version, I guess you could say. I don't know, we'll have to see, but we'll keep on going. And uh, I, I don't know who else is going to have endings. Um, we, we have Maho and Kagari who are new characters. I really don't know who would be next who's a new character. I don't think Yuki would have one. I, I feel like we need to we need to explore Yuki a little bit more. Because she, she definitely disappears more than I want her to. She seems like a, a character that I, I would classify as important. But, well, whatever. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy stuff. I was also streaming this on Twitch, so I will talk with any uh, Twitch viewers that I have left here in the chat. There was some chat activity, but this was just a recording session that I was streaming, so... You know, well... I'll do that more. I I've done this in the past on YouTube, but I think I'm just gonna do this and and everything else on Twitch. I do that for Persona 5, so maybe I'll, I'll stream everything Steins Gate Zero on Twitch as well. Just because, you know. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.